Let me fix this. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> um, what are this? Uh -uh. No water, no water in India at all. But why? Thirsty. Thirsty, 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 thirsty. Ah. On this side. <laughs> Where should I start, people? Where should I start? Where should I start? Where should I start? All right, first of all, clean sweep by Clarendon. Clean, clean sweep by Clarendon. Clean, clean, clean sweep by Clarendon. Congratulations, first of all. Congratulations to the country of Clarendon. Congratulations to the country of Clarendon. This is showing that you guys are producing some of the best youth talents some of the best youth talents right across the country. And I have to say, hats off and big up, res massive, massive respect to the parish of Clarendon. You guys are doing a great job in regard to the youth football and, and youth. So, all right. Congratulations to Edwin Allen for winning the Ben Francis earlier today, moving into the, the Casa Cup, where we now saw a big, big... I, it's a tough one. It is a tough one. Personally, I don't think a final should really go like this. Too easy. This final was too, too easy. I expected a bigger challenge from Manning. So, congratulations to Garvey Masia, the Cubans. Congratulations to the Cubans for this result today. Now, this result would have put them with the highest margin of victory. The highest margin of victory. The highest, listen people, the highest margin of victory in a Dakasa Cup final. So, where should we start in this game? I want to, I, I, I know what, I want to go to, I want to dissect this game in anything, in any aspect particular. But um, let me let me bring up the picture because, you, you know, the, the team go on good. The team go on really, really good. And you, I have to, you have to respect that man. Big big shout out to, to, to the champions, the Cubans. <laughs> big big shout out. All right, well, me I go to people, me I drop the, the link early. So I want to come on, people. I want you guys to come on. I want to come on, come share the thoughts. Especially the people from Clarendon, the people from Clarendon, tell me how you feel. The people who support the government state team, come on. Tell me how to me drop the link early. I want to come on. But before we do anything, people, what we want the guys to do, smash the like button, people. Smash the like button, people. Please, people, smash the like button. Smash that like button, people. So I'm going to drop the link right now. I want to come on. I want to share the views. I want to tell me how you feel. I want to know. Because I know most... Remember, I'm a neutral watching this game. I was watching this game from a neutral standpoint. I was watching this game from a neutral standpoint because I'm not from Clarendon. Um, I am not... I didn't went to Garvey Massey. I didn't went to Manning's. So I was watching from a neutral standpoint. And I personally think that most Manning's fans would very much be... If this one would leave, would definitely leave a taste, a sour taste in the mouth. So we have um, Rasta Sane coming on again. Big up, bro. What's going on? Yeah, man. Big up. Big up, Mr. Military, you know. Um, we just want to say congratulations to, to Garby Marcel. Mm -hmm. Before the season, you know, I know a, a team where we are yellow from Clarendon would have win. So <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know it would be Garvey, but after playing against CC last week, and to me, the number seven is the best defensive player um, mm -hmm. in the league, Henry, and the number 10 is the best offensive player in the league. Not the number nine. The number, number 10, 10 is Adina. Um, um, Jaim Harris. Yes. Jaim Harris. Said, mm -hmm. with, with the two left-footed number 10 player mm -hmm. spectacular today. The first one was the Edwin Allen uh, striker. Um, <laughs> Patty Ed. Eh? Party head, I think them call him. I said, yeah, man, I hate big. <laughs> but <laughs> now I remember my name. Oh, I can't remember my name, man. But we know who we are talking, man. We know who we are talking, but man. With a left foot number 10 with a bomb, and, and the number 10 today from Garvey, him, mm -hmm. him, rock, him rock CC the same way last week, and him have a mm -hmm. free kick earlier. Mm -hmm. Um, The number 7 is underrated because it's a number 7 where it comes from the left, not the right side, like most number 7s. Mm -hmm. But up and down the flank, him have a good engine. He have a good touch and him mm -hmm. crab it on defense. And yes, them, yeah, yeah. them three things there. Make them three game. things that in our footballer can go pro, not just schoolboy. So 
-hmm. You know, respect to Garvey. If them two men they come back next year, mm -hmm. I mean, DCF will come really well. <laughs> if them two men they come back next year, we have to come really well for the two of them. Uh, you see, watching the game, I, I could see some major, major faults, you know, man, man in those playing. When man in those playing against Dintel in the semi finals, I realized that man was playing a very high line. Then they consistently put the ball over the top, which um beat the defense, and then, then it's just that Dintel didn't score the chances that they got. And if they had put away those chances, I think would have been something similar to what we've seen tonight. But set, um, set, aside, set aside from that, um, this Garth Massier team was lethal, really, really lethal. My word, Jaheim Harris was the guy is, is aggressive in front of goal. Yeah. He's an aggressive player in front of goal. When I watch the number seven, it's not only a player who has a good engine and can make tackles. Do you realize that whenever he go into, he go into a tackle, he tend to win the ball nine out of ten times and come yes. away with the ball. Yes. So um, pick up him head and distribute. Mm -hmm. And distribute. That there, I think, is a very, very good attribute for such a young player. His ability to go into the tackles, come out with the ball, and make a clean pass. Important. Uh, uh, That's really important. Yes, military. And one of the things when when him coach him lose a ball, you know, and him coach. Uh, if you watch the game, him coach when him go over the halftime. Him coach start yelling at him, and when me see that, me understand how much the coach Meran Garden respect him. I all see see man, me see how much him respect him because if you play a game like that and him riding the youth, you can tell the youth in a nice system, and people will care about him and him development. So under that development, with a left foot, because as me and you know, you know them them left foot are the special, you know. Special man, special left, them left foot are special. The special you know? <laughs> yeah, when time, time usually play football, right? One thing, at we when I played when I was playing that circle, we had about four left footers in the team. Four left footers, each one of them. There's certain criteria that they have. David. Penalties, they hardly miss penalties. Rarely miss penalties. They tend to be calm, really, really calm, and they tend to kick the ball extremely hard. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they kick the ball hard, and then now the, the fourth one, them quick. They're quick. They're quick in regards to um five to ten meters. And turning, they can move, they can turn left or right really, really fast. Just boom, 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 and then turn. The, and the, the biggest thing in football is, is where you know as well is that thing named, I mean, it's not where nobody can teach, but it's that thing named manhood. Mm -hmm. And you see that buckle that with Rodney and mm -hmm. Henry, and none of them not giving an inch, you know. But when me see Henry really look and say, Yo, you now pass me, mm -hmm. no matter where you do, you now pass me. And yeah. just having that thing about you, no know, coach can't put in a you, but a coach can nurture it. And again, that young man, let me tell you, I, me and you have the kind of respect because we know how much our left foot worth and we know mm -hmm. how much our good engine worth. Very, very field. important. It's, it's, like me know, it's like me know, um, I was, when I play football, I wasn't the most technical um, of a winger. I wasn't the most technical. But one of my key assets was my speed. I'm a fit. Me and basically, I think, I want to fit these players in my squad because I know that I don't have a level, the skill level like the other players. Then. So I have to work extremely hard. I have to work three times as hard for being in my squad. For even, yeah. be, for even dip on the bench. Just for dip on the bench. And the coach see that. So comes in to get some game. Me, me I mean, that winger like you. I mean, that yeah. winger like you and where people <laughs> need to know about that position there. You, know? mm -hmm. you see, for offense, you have to expand fast. Mm -hmm. And on defense, you have to pinch in, you have to pinch in, you have to pinch mm -hmm. in. And if you're not really pinching, you leave your mm -hmm. team naked. And yes. if you're not expand, you're not give your team no option. So exactly what you say, man. The engine yeah, man. is very important. And when we love both of you, that that going to be in position. Because I'm have the number seven, you know. I'm have the mm -hmm. right number. So eventually, I'm going to put up the piece. Number seven is a normal wing. Number seven is a normal wing. I'm going to put up the piece. I think, I won't push them on me to wear. I think we wear number 16 and 9. And 9 and 16, me to wear. Um, yeah, nine, man. 9, 6, 9, 16 and 14. Because 14 are because of theory, Henry. 16 because of my birthday. And the 9 was the last time. My last, last year was the 9. Because I did a play over on the right wing. But when I play 16, I play right back. <laughs> I mean, I play right back. So, as I, as I, as I said earlier, fitness was a big, big factor in it. And, and the pace of me have. If the coach could not trust me and go forward and me and come back in a no time, in a breeze. But, yes, man. And Garvey, I love what Garvey does. Garvey brings it all school. And again, 
We are talking about old school baller like we were used to stuff box drinks with, with paper and kick. <laughs> Gabi have, Gabi yeah. have a, num a number nine, mm -hmm. Gabi have a number seven, them have a ten, and them have a eleven. It mm -hmm. come like the coach, the coach, the coach understand, say, boy, yo, we are going to do it old school. And all of them number they have significant. Yes, they and them play them role. Yeah. So, so Garvey really, Garvey really make me proud of the Clarendon thing. I only part time we play and beat them still, but now we have to take, <laughs> we have to take off, we add to them and, and, and big them up. But more and big up Mannings. More mm -hmm. and really big up Mannings. If you support Mannings, you have nothing to be ashamed of. Um, mm -hmm. You have to fight, fight, fight till the end. And, and them do that. Them do that. Yeah, them do that. And even though them get frustrated in a lot of stages of the game, but you expect that because you can't see, you can't know they get beaten and you feel, yeah, do you, they get the feeling that you, you come like you come like your dreams are drift away from you. you well, like the referee make a mistake. The referee made a big mistake with that second yellow, um, and you no, can it, tell that she I made a. Me not think a mistake, you know. I don't think a mistake, you know, because what the player did, even in a professional football. When you show that level of resentment because I want to call a referee, make, and no freaker referee, I'm going to kill It should have been a yellow. It should have yeah. been a yellow. But the fact that she she never knew it's a second yellow, you know. Mm -hmm. I feel like if she didn't know it was a second yellow, being a schoolboy, being that she'd the dog would be a tree, she'd have been a harsh talking to. But the mistake is not because it wasn't a yellow. The first one was a yellow, the second was a yellow. But I think when the fourth official called her, she couldn't really go back now and say, I really, right, I, 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 I'm going to put it back in my pocket and I'm sorry about that. But she yeah, would have given her heart talking to. It's a 16 year old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, but not the same sense now. Remember, to, we are grooming them to become professionals. Uh, we, we want them to maintain the level of discipline. So even that same red card that can resonate with him for a long while, say, all right, this did happen. I'm going to have to learn from it. If I'm taking the right way. Yeah, yes. if I'm taking it the right. And, and all these kids, mm -hmm. if man didn't take it the right way and say, yo, we never been to our finals before. Now, Garvey won it already. Mm -hmm. Garvey defeated a champion to get here. Mm -hmm. So Garvey was ready. But if man didn't look at it and say, guys, we can do this enough. Mm -hmm. In one year, two years, we're going to come back and win enough. I feel like mm -hmm. they can do something, but it's all that player take it and it's all the team take it. Mm -hmm. And the coach, um, I listened a little bit at the interview. I didn't really agree with blaming the players as a, them, they, they are kids. But mm -hmm. if you take it as a learning lesson, the way how Lenny Hyde really teach the Clarendon players and, and look at mm -hmm. them as students first, I think mm -hmm. I think they can get somewhere. This man in team, they really okay. can. And and I think the coach of, of, of the looking himself as well, if you know that um, these are young men who basically um, on any level of football at that at this age, the level of pressure that is on their back is not really warranted. I'm being honest. The level of yep. pressure that we put on the school boy football back. And the reason why, you know, the, the, the reason why that much pressure is on the school boy football back is because it is recorded as possible to maybe the highest level of football in Jamaica. Not saying that it is, you know, but it is recorded as that. Yep. That's how people look on it. The fun. All right, so let me tell you how I know that. I watch the, the games them from, from school boy football start. I watch the games them from Sports Max um, um, YouTube channel. And when you're watching, if, you, if even even if a two school uh, unrecognized what, what in regards to the, 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 the Dakasa Cup, or even the Manning Cup um, title, not two teams are now winning. You'd you realize say you see like all uh, one thousand persons watching. Uh, you have one thousand two hundred persons watching. You have nine hundred persons watching watching the game. When you watch the Jamaican Premier League, even if a Mount Pleasant, even Harbour View are play, it barely. Barely past 600, I got 700, and in our mid, in our see up there, so so yeah, it, it this cool boy football is a product where a lot of people very much love the project, they love the project, and they're in tune to the project because when you can resonate with the high school, you don't much really resonate with the community. I mean, I don't know, I mean, I really know the reason why, I don't know the reason why. Because it's the same as me. Me come from I, I'm a Lindsay person. Me come from Lindsay, me come from Victoria. And me don't resonate with it with, with, with the community as well. Me resonate with my high school or me I come yes. from. Yes, man. My first year of high school, you know, was 91. And in that 1991 Clarendon College team, we have Linval Dixon, Christopher Daz, who was two reggae boys from the 98 team. Uh we have Sensei. Uh we have a mount of baller, so it's totally so you, you grew up looking at that. You're so inspired to be like that. But at the same time, looking back now as a big man, 
you're talking about 16, 17 year olds. I mean, you know, you're talking about such such big expectations of you. When you get to a final, you have a whole community on your back. So I always cut them slack. Uh, you have to respect these young men. All of them should be proud. Whether you win or lose, you should be proud. Vivian, go on. Yo, bless him. You hear me clear? Yeah, but me I hear you. Clear, clear, clear. Why I hear you? Okay, all right. Still want to play, run. play a voice note like a command. I want to play one voice note like a command. I want to play two uh, voice note <laughs> like a command. Me, me I play. Oh, I feel me. I'll tell you something. Uh, you reach a point where I feel the result of this. This is not my game. No, it wasn't my game, but I guess I'm end up in there now. Six consecutive, I'm still have to try to get, uh, get seven, but I say go. Right now, <laughs> right now <laughs> come like you, Maroon, Eddie Lewis. Seven! I mean, I lie over here, say, body steam, God, make a set. Tell some boy, say, body, hey, send message and tell them. Send message and tell them. All right. If I have something big, what is that? Kill them. Yeah. Check in over here, son. Tell us something. And at first, in the preseason, when I never really had a reason, I never think about Ben Francis. You see me, I said, but now, you know, it didn't come down. Any trophy come Come like black life, all life matters. Every trophy matters. They dig a message, so. All over question, boy, where boom, ball, you want me, but yeah, man, yeah. Yo. I want me from this cup. And then we can get his sister to me take her. Yeah, understand me, so. School and especially, so I don't know anything come down. See, class is permanent. Room is temporary. You know, anything come down. See. <laughs> There are some people in the comment section laughing. No? Baby, I know I'm going. You know, you're going to get in a trouble. You know, you're going to get in a trouble for the sick day, though. You're going to get in a trouble for the sick day, man. Yeah, man, I know. Be careful, you know, you're going to get in a trouble. Yo, ah. Um, yeah. Why? Why? Man, they must support them team, don't feel that. Man, they can't say anything, you know, man. They must support them team. They must say, with the record, we can't wish that wish team, you know, man. With a power record, yeah, just, <laughs> hey, yeah. I just in you know, at the start of the season, everybody have been, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, yeah, but it's working, especially when the season, when the season is winding down, and you realize that, um, your team still looking good, playing good football, and all of that. Mm -hmm. Um, we had two games today, in Francis and the Costa Cup. Uh, and mm -hmm. I would say both, both games go how I expected them to go. Mm -hmm. um, I was really hoping that Marines would win, but deep down, I know that those youngsters on, uh, at Marines could not manage three of Clark and Cousins, and I know for a fact that they cannot manage them. Mm -hmm. So deep down, I really wanted Marines to win because I said, you know what, first time champions. Hey, darling. It was evident from the first game against Clan and College that they mean business. Um, mm -hmm. Any team that can go two to two with Clan and College over two legs deserves a title. Because mm -hmm. Clan and College have a good team. They are, they are what you said in recent years. That is mark for a title team. Said. And then Gargo must still be Clan and College. Mm -hmm. The benchmark for a title. And then I went to with them, Gargo must still beat them. But the mm -hmm. final, so I mean, you know how I expected it to go. Edwin Allen game, that boy scored a goal that is picking up a finals. That goal deserved to win the final. That deserved to win a <laughs> the, the last one? Yes, the deciding goal. I mm -hmm. I predicted a 2 2 drop and penalty, but it's still 3 2 is still pretty close. Mm -hmm. I know it would be a, a, a close game. Um, I think in my mind, I thought it would be, when I say he got two all, he said, okay, maybe I'm not that bad at this prediction. Team. But then with that goal, I, I, I am happy to run with that type of team. And, and I'm sure Rambo um, would, would feel the same way that if he's going to lose, he want to lose that goal. After, mm -hmm. after going down and then coming back two all, 
So, big up to both states and any other for the big prizes. And a lot of persons call it the losers cup and all of them. Remember, these are you to talk now. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, any title, as, as Bubba said, any title, a title, you know. It's and important. I know for a fact that um, you might not, like, it's like when I go to the Olympics, you see persons run a, a race at the Olympics and finish third. And they are very happy mm -hmm. with their friends medal because even when they finish third, they still work hard team. And at the end, after working, work hard team, after working for four or five months, I mean, a title is something that you can look, look back and say, hey, I got yeah, this title after all this yeah. hard work. And it will motivate me to push for the deep up next year. Mm -hmm. I understand in the past, in the last three years, the men, the, 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 the men Francis winners have all been newcomers. Last, the last Nakasta Cup, it was D.B. Cook. Mm -hmm. Nakasta Cup before that, it was Charlie Mount. The Ben Francis before that? The Ben Francis, but yeah, the Ben Francis, sorry. The, the, I'm talking about the season. The season before mm -hmm. that, it was um, Charlie Mount. And in 2019, it was um, D.B. Cook. So I'm mm -hmm. glad that the schools so are not like traditional schools are winning titles. So Ben Francis is actually fulfilling its purpose. It was set up to give schools a chance because in the past, you know, schools would be trading for four, five, six months mm -hmm. and getting the any go come down between Russia's Cornwall, Clarence, and College. Yeah, I agree. So what this does, it gives other schools a chance to at least win a, 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 a silverware. Bring home silverware. And this year, the Ben Francis had some really good teams in them. Big mm -hmm. team in the Ben Francis, you know. So that, that's that for the Ben Francis as it relates to the Costa Cup. Congrats, Gary Maceo. Um, the Clarendon people did say that they are taking all the titles back to Clarendon, and I did say do not, mm -hmm. I don't doubt them. Mm -hmm. Based on how they are playing, I don't doubt them. So Clarendon, which is also the price of the most titles in the Costa Cup, are, are doing a clean sweep in the clean sweep of the rural era. And this sets up a rematch mm -hmm. between Garvey Marcel. Well, let me don't jump the Let me wait till tomorrow. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm talking as if JC been already but Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it sets up a big clash between Garvey Marcel and KC or JC. Whoever mm -hmm. their opponent is, I think Garvey Marcel chances of lifting the Bolivia Shield. Yeah. Well, no, those are my two cents for, for today. <laughs> well said. MDA said one done nation. She's the, the Clarendon there and them out, you know. <laughs> if, if you've got any Clarendon school, you go, and you realize you uh, no win nothing. You know, Clarendon people in full support at the other Clarendon school. Then. So we like that. We like that. What one thing we realize, you see, the, the, rural, the, the, the rural school, they work together, you know. They kind of work together, you know. Just the same as though me I bring Dintel even though a child about me usually go. Because more as my rival and going good. More as, yeah, as long as we don't play each other. As long as we don't play each other. Yeah, once we don't play each other. <laughs> once we don't play some school out of port. More as them do good. Yeah, people forget to bear win bear win D Cup on and Olivia Shield four years straight you now. Mm -hmm. Um no, that was back back in the 70s, but still. 70s. Uh, you understand, so the Clarendon teams, them Glenmuir, when Jackie Walters was there for a bit, get warm. Um, mm -hmm. Lennon, when Coach 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 Vernon was there, you know, uh, got close and got warm. So Clarendon, Clarendon have some fire. Mm -hmm. So, you know, before we step, we just want to say congratulations to the entire parish. And, mm -hmm. and again, respect for what the man I do. Uh, we talk some reggae boys another time, but, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, for man. the school boy football. School boy, I forget, they must forget them show talk, man. The Premier yeah, League man, man them don't feel no way no. I like Premier League man them don't feel no way. JPL man them don't feel no way. But you don't yeah, need to you have to get their shout out. <laughs> the and, future and, and, have to get their shout out. Mm. Yes, Rasta. So much respect again for bringing the, 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 the good, good product to the people then because enough of we out here we love football body you now and mm -hmm. I bring with the good food. All right, boss? Yes, man. All right. Much but thanks respect. for coming on every time you know, man. Really, really respect the thing you know. Always, man. Much <laughs> respect, Rasta. Keep doing your thing. All right, bro. Yes, boss. One done. <laughs> All right, <laughs> all right. So I'm running through some of my comments. Then, my comment section, I go mad, you know, man. Ah, you're lucky. Say one done. Tyrone Turner said, "Guna, big up." 
Let me see now. Damian Kelly said, training session for Garvey. Didn't feel choke against this rubbish man in seam. No, I'm say them, them rubbish. But me think, me don't know still, but I, I honestly believe in a Fabian that fatigue was a big factor. I believe that fatigue was a big factor when both Klein and College and also and and, and didn't feel face off in the in the, in the semifinals against both Mannings and Garvey Massey respectfully. It can be it can, it can, I can be wrong, you know. I can be wrong, you know. But I believe it's odd that the two teams them who the Goy Champions Cup final who defeated the two Manning's Cup team them who people with the highly rate said them man they have the better set of ball of them. And them you them beat them. And then when they turn when they turn around, they couldn't give you 80 minutes of, of, of consistent football against them two teams. There. So I think particularly a factor. Fabian, you think me think me wrong or you, me in a me know if me wrong. Come more know if me wrong. No, you're, you're not wrong in I mean, Patrick did play a part uh, in, in um, Clarendon College and didn't in, in, in the way how they played. I'm not going to say that's the reason for their defeat, but it, no. did, it did play a part in there. But a part of an entire season is how you manage your squad, how you manage your players. Mm -hmm. So I'm, yeah, not, yeah. I'm still not going to use that as an excuse, even though, yes, it did play a part. Did Clarendon College manage their players? Well, I think Clarendon College managed their players. Well. I just think that on that day, Clarendon College just believed that Garvey Massey shouldn't beat them or they can't beat them. Mm -hmm. And so they, they started out being overconfident. And before you know it, they ran at 2-0. <laughs> and, then they started, and then they started to play. Mm -hmm. As it relates to Dinton, no, I don't think Dinton they were managed properly. And that is something that the Dintel management they have to learn. No, but 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 in the same sense, you know. Remember, I said Dintel one end up go straight to all penalties, you know. The two the two games when Dintel playing are penalties, then going. Yeah, remember, the game against Jesse was penalties. I already not a whole. All right, let me look on this. Bro, there's no extra time. Remember, there's no extra time. It's just straight penalties. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's yeah, not. But... It's not. It, you know, you know, it's not that rough, but because it's straight penalties. Mm -hmm. But they still like they error managed properly. Yep. Yeah. So, 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 what, what, for example, look who use a soft factor. Say, say, for instance, the client that knows say you are going. We know say the traveling is gonna be a big factor in this. So, I could keep the youth in that town, and I could go and train that town. We could camp in one school in that town. We close the close the stadium. We see what the closest stadium is because I just said the semifinals I'm gonna play. And I said, I'm right. That could be a fact. That could be a big. I see them easily play our sets. I said the game they play, the semi-finals they play, I'm not sure I remember. Which big semi-finals? Did he go? Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, Stets in here. Stets. So they be, so basically they can't go to school with the closest Stets to minimize the traveling. And they couldn't put in a sufficient training session. So I think maybe that they never managed pro pro properly. But probably could have be a factor where they never managed. Because if they didn't put that in place, where they didn't necessarily have to travel to and from, so the players them get more rest. The players them could relax a bit. So that could be a, that could be a, that could be one of them. When the same thing, you go give up. Me only take an analysis. You see, you see, when I, I am, when, when I have my track team, I mm -hmm. under the track team and they are entering um champs, primary champs. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't travel on the day. We travel from the day before. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying this to say, I'm saying this to say. That um, these teams uh, that are doing well and these teams that are planning for finals and for semi finals, they normally travel before the day of the competition. It makes no sense to drive three hours or four hours in a bus cramped up, go and then play 90 minutes of football. So, again, it comes down to planning and management. Mm -hmm. So, the management, the management of the team should know that it makes no sense for me. To travel for hours, then to go and run for 90 minutes, that don't make no sense at all. Mm. So guess what I'm going to do? I am going to book a hotel close to the venue a day before or two days before so that my team will be well rested. Have a training session. Even that, yeah. It does wonders mentally. And I think all the teams, all the teams 
do that. Mm-hmm. Or, they may not say, kill that normally we do that. So when JC come into Bobby, they may come from the day before. When Cornwall go into Kingston, they go from the day before. Unless it's probably a first round game or so. Mm-hmm. Same thing with JC, same thing with Clarendon College. So remember I said to you that there are a lot of things that are um, in the weekend. In an end. Mm-hmm. You understand? There are a lot of things that they need to start implementing if they want to be taken seriously. These are these are some of those things. And as um I think they will learn they will learn them as they as as time progresses. I mm-hmm. mean we have these teams climbed down and, and Russies and, and Casey and Casey, they never know it all. They, they, they just they, they learn from the mistakes and move on to hope they didn't learn. I think they didn't get too much, too much of the time now. Still, they uh, didn't finish the season with the same amount. The same thing like where Russ is finishing. <laughs> Nothing. Like where Cornwall finished with. Nothing at all. Same thing. Like, <laughs> well, man, it's not going to be. But it didn't get too much now. Let us talk about man and talk. All right. Let me run through some of my comments. Then. Arisha said, uh, Clarendon, I want them all three, all three, all through the parish. Um, Partido a uh, Portas Corrades said, Hi, friends. Big up, Partido. I'm um, glad to see you, Mario. Great live coming in from Peru. Greetings from Peru. Thank you very much. We're reaching far, people. We're reaching far. <laughs> um, Damian Kelly said, Harris, the number 10. Ras Farai said, Clarendon created history. Mili- um, Fabian Full said, Military. Me tell you before the season starts that my Garvey a win. <laughs> ah, big up, Fabian Full. And congrats, man. Congrats. Um, Clarendon did a, did a ball, a play them can't stop with. Fabian Full said 20 watching only hit like people smash the light button, people. Come on, guys, smash the light button, people. Don't be afraid and just so, show the program some level of support, people. Show the program some level of support. Um, let me run through the comment section. You're lucky, said me live. Big up, you're lucky. Uh, when me tell you, telling about the might. The mighty of Clarendon schools, the might of Clarendon schools when we are up, don't mess with us. You're looking at congrats, Edwin, congrats, Garvey. Well played, well deserved. Um, Fabian, um, you're looking at big up Fabian. Uh, let me see, Nicholas Brown said 40 verses. Man, I already give for <laughs> I already give 40. CC, big up a long time. No, come on, I'm gonna wait till hello, hey, 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 military. Oh, I- yeah, 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 would have made it to the semi-final, but mm-hmm. only two made it. So I predicted that Garvey, Clarendon, and Edwin Allen would be in the semi-final of the Dakar Cup. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, Edwin Allen fell short, losing to Dintil by one goal to nil. Mm-hmm. But in my opinion, these were three, these three teams that won the, the respective cups were mm-hmm. three of the teams that looked the best. In, even Garvey, people were saying mm-hmm. Garvey was pretenders to the throne. I remember Sir Garvey dismantled the first round. You know? mm-hmm. Garvey didn't have to play the playoff game you know? because nobody could catch them again. Then they all gone clear. Gone clear, man. They dismantled the first round. CC had a much harder fight because you had teams that posed a, a bigger threat. So he kind of struggled to get over the line to go into the inter zone. But even when Garvey came into the in the quarter final round, you realized. But I think the, the match that showed people that Garvey might win this cup is the match even against Clarendon College. Mm-hmm. Because even when Clarendon was pressuring in the last like 20 minutes or so, at one point in time, you know, Garvey had to be playing a low block. They had to be back in their half. Show some resilience. Yeah. So even that game right there is like they can probably extrapolate from that game itself and realize that Clarendon College would have been even a much better team over a man's team if they went to the final. Mm-hmm. And as such, if Garvey beat, sometimes you can't really use this, but you can, in hindsight, you can use it now, saying mm-hmm. that if Garvey beat Clarendon College, the, the odds of them winning the Dakasta Cup. Yeah, man. Beat. Yeah, man. Me, me because either of the teams that win, 
mm-hmm. would have probably end up winning the cup. But I'm telling you, man, it's 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 like you know, I'm telling you, military is a surreal mm-hmm. feeling for no one say, oh, the three Clarendon team them take home all of the trophy and are available because a lot of persons. That's it. This is the next thing when everyone was saying um didn't it look good, which they did, and some other things. Man, is them look good and other things, and they were not looking at the things because you don't see a lot of games from that side of the parish. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, because when I was saying Edunalin is going to go far, people are saying, "Boy, well, but me know Edwin military Edunalin never have a good as good a team as this." I mean, I care what nobody wants to say. From me, you know, Edunalin they had good players. Mm-hmm. They could have picked up good players in and around their team, but they never mm-hmm. had a, a team as good as this in the way that they played. If you, if you watch the curtain raiser against Clarendon College, they should have not lost that game. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, you bring across some very, very good points. So man. if you really look at into it, they, mm-hmm. even the Dintil game that mm-hmm. they got 1 0. Dintil had to dig deep to, give, to, to beat them, but at that point in time, Dintil was. Kind of, as, as he was saying, Dintil was his riding high, flying high. Mm-hmm. So it would have been hard to really beat Dintil at that point in time. But I'm telling you, it's just some, if you look into it, Dintil got to that stage before. So Dintil knew how to win. Mm-hmm. Edwin Allen is the first really time now to get to these stages of the competition, right? Them normally, them not come so far in the competition. So when they get to them stage, I'm, um, military, you realize if you even if you win the trophy, if you watch the, the, the Ben Francis final, mm-hmm. you notice even in the Ben Francis final, they, they were under one nil, them come back and equalize, they were leading, but they were leading and still never knew how to win. Because, <laughs> because yeah, because yeah, man, I uh, true enough, they look, they look nervous, they look weird. All right, yes, it's test, test has been in that position scored, already now. That second goal, that yeah. should have never scored, but that scored against them because. They, they were they were naive to a final very much very much and so. then they yeah. realize rambo even i say it same not because watch states knew that they could have come back at, even though this is not the states team that would have won many times before mm-hmm. the coaching staff have been See, here before experienced coaching staff yes yeah, so they knew how to win so i think that was where adrenaline struggled in that period of point and then a brilliant left-footed effort you know the look of you Ooh. there military the, the um Jahi Mari Jahi Mori, I watch the ball, I know. Man, yeah, man. I the man. Up on my community, the income. He look, he look tall. He look physically imposing. Yeah, man. He, he probably, yeah, he probably are sick. Now, I have to go check again. Charger. A good way, I'm not go playing on that side. Now, I'm go, I'm go, I'm go link him because I think my own father, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. But man, yeah, man. so, so basically, we, 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 we see the Adrian Allen game, you know. They gave the game watch a game then. That was a, a really, really entertaining game, you know, man. End to end stuff, you know, man. Right down to the last minute of the game, you know. Um, this fine, this final, the Dakar Sock Cup final. All right, make ask it. Do you think that this Manning's team is this a major, major blow to this Manning's team losing in that fashion? Yeah, man, it's a major blow because I did, boy, may I tell you, throughout the competition. They've never lost like this. Mm-hmm. They were thoroughly outplayed when you watch it. You watch the game. Mm-hmm. I'm not, you know, you know, to be honest, it, it's as if the final was played against Clarendon and, and, and Garthy. Mm-hmm. Because at no point was Mannings in the game. <laughs> no, them, them, them never really have imposed. When I look on, when I watch the game, right? I mean, I say, First of all, man is a play one high line, one really, really high line. They play the same high line against Dintil, and Dintil created so much opportunity. I don't know if you remember the amount of chances they didn't get, and then could have really put it away. But Dintil was not as clinical as though this um, Edin, um Garvey Masio team is. This Garvey Masio team is lethal. Slightest chance they can get them out, they will kill up. Yeah, man. Slightest no, chance they get. But that's a but thing. I think that's where. The quality. The quality of football, I would definitely expect a more of a higher quality football. Man is they just never turn up. Just yeah, man, man is, never turn up. Right team. now, I'm still a look for man in the West Mola. <laughs> Shaz, I go on. But if you look at it, you see, I think this is the difference between a guard and Marseille 
mm. and Clarendon College, why Garvey was able to beat Clarendon. Garvey mm. Maceo is more clinical than Clarendon College. They possess more clinical, a more mm -hmm. clinical striker. Mm -hmm. Because if you realize, even in the Clarendon game, opportunities came and went mm -hmm. to begging because we didn't, throughout the season, they never really had that true goal scorer mm -hmm. in terms of a man who wants him, see the, him just wants to see the two posts mm -hmm. and a shots on target. So if you realize it, bro, um, I mean, I don't know, I don't know, because it's like, you know, look into it, but it's ju it just shows the strength of the Clarendon group, the Clarendon arm zones. I mean, I try, I'm going to go on this, it's a free kick. You don't know what the keeper, you don't know, you don't know, you don't know, you don't know, you you know who the keeper there, sir? Look on the keeper. What? Look on the keeper, um, CC. The keeper literally guide the ball straight inside that own net. So, in regards to that, so in regards to quality, that, that may I talk about in regards to the quality aspect of things. Them, them something that shouldn't happen. When, 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 when you when, when you watch, the, all right, look on the final. The, the, the Champions Cup final between um, CC and Dintil. A high, high quality football that play now. One team attack, one team defend, then one team attack, then the other team defend. But the level at which they play now, no team, no team not giving up, no loose goal. You have to really work extremely hard to score a goal. You have to work hard to score a goal. Now, this, me see some goal that's coming here and say, no, man. Them, them, them something that should not happen. Me I tell you the truth, these things should not, should, it should not happen. Me say me can't find, me can't find any more clippings. Um, and these clippings, you know, people are, are, are. are you are one of the goals. I don't know which one. I think this is the third goal. Cleo Clark. You're not in the feedback, Bruno. No, I'm not in the feedback. Oh. Cleo, Cleo Clark literally walk, walk, walk over, over Mannings. Literally walk over Mannings. See This is a reminder every spectator Every official and all the guests, everybody around the team must be wearing a mask. If you're not wearing a mask, then please leave. At this point, you can see that man is having. I put them on a little pressure. I put CC and I, I, I put um, Darby and I put them on. Nothing much, you say. Nothing much to cause any problem to Darby. I think that's after cousin's goal. Yeah, Shaz, what are you going? Why? Mm -hmm. There, brother, I'm there. Um, a couple of weeks back when the whole final thing then come out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, I recommend for you. If it's true, you're going to carry on. Fabian mm -hmm. full set up. Yeah, and it, and it seems like it actually um, fulfilling, I mean. Mm -hmm. And it's a good look for Klein and in a sense and a sports and a football aspect. Mm -hmm. Good for Eden Allen winning their first major um title. Mm -hmm. So I mean I don't know what they're doing at Klein and but they um they did a good job mm -hmm. in terms of producing some good footballers, playing some good football. Mm -hmm. Because the team that really, really, really win trophies from Klein and you know, mm -hmm. if, yeah, in the Dakasta Cup by the team that really stand out, you know. Yeah, other than sure. other than other than Dintel. Mm -hmm. Um, Garvey stand out in their group. They start their group. They were they were the team after the team not took um lose a game. So winning the Dakota Cup is not a flute. Flute mm -hmm. like people are thinking about. Sure, hello, and when it, mm -hmm. that team they not do them thing from the start of the tournament, right up to even with the Champions Cup, Championship, Champions Cup. So them, so it's a good it's a good look for Clarendon. and Edna Lim did put some as as I'm Fabian said earlier and thing. Mm -hmm. Um, Edna and get kind of and kind of run for the money. Mm 
during the group stage. True, true. You know, some good ball and things. So it's, it's not really a, a float in a sense where it's not even a trophy. I don't know what kind of character win trophy because a champion team. So it's good look to kind of in terms of football. And I hope, I hope other um, parishes can look, look at that and see where they can develop football on a wider scale in terms of not just the parish, but for Jamaica and our world. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, it's been here since kind of, kind of itself as a parish. I produce some great footballers, good, good footballers. So. And I just know. Ago. Yeah, and I just know. And I think as a parish, they are the only parish with the most champions in any um, form of sport in terms of this, in, in terms of football and the whole thing. Mm. So, and I just know them at them things. So, I'd start to kind of, and whoever down there running their program, I know that they have connection to the clubs. Uh, they have been some local uh, academy down there, but they are doing good things <laughs> in kind of, They might do some good things at Tyndall, brother. I'm not lying. That yeah, great, man, um, good, good look that for Tyndall. And for the next one. Yeah, so I just go and do the good work, CC. Laboratory, like you put some money in the lab down there, CC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's a good look. It's a good look for Klein and football, man. I'm not lying. CC, what is the formula? Why the formula? Why the formula? Why the formula? Yeah. Boy, I mean, I tell you, what the formula with Clarendon, Clarendon, I, I think, in really looking to it, it's just good recruitment in terms of getting the players from the persons talk about um, recruitment in terms of people be getting baller and sitting out a year. But if you're really looking at a lot of these sides, they get the mm-hmm. baller that come from like all uh, them players from nine group. Some of the, ball, the players come at 14 minds. Mm-hmm. Some of the players come at 14 is military. 14 mm-hmm. year old, um, 15 year old. So mm-hmm. by the time that they come into the school, they pro- some of them play uh, under 16. So they yeah, from the age, age group, yeah. Huh? From that age group. Yeah, man. More, so when people say, the, norm, all right, you have persons who get recruited who comes in sixth form. Mm-hmm. But then you have persons who come in fourth form, in third form. You have persons who come from first form. So you have persons who the man them take out from all primary school. I know, so you, you understand? And then they build around that. But I think with, um, well, I think with Clarendon, in terms of even mm-hmm. Clarendon College, they have a system where basically you can, for example, over the, if you, if you, if you look at the past 10 years, right? Mm-hmm. You don't really see where the team plays different. It's like different players, but the identity is kind of still the same, even mm-hmm. if you change coaches. So I'm not even sure how they manage to do that, where mm-hmm. they still maintain a certain type of identity. Um, with God, maybe that's as I said, Sinam, that could be a big factor in regards to retaining the identity of how the school play, not all the, 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 the new the coach, coach are coming play, yeah. but the identity of how this I mean, the coach, so, not to say any that coach are coming, my friend, my friend, my stick to the philosophy of the coach, not to say that the coaches don't put them on tactics and them on mm-hmm. into the thing, you know, but the but, basic identity have to remain, just no, look at you, all right, look well, at it. See, see, hold on a bit, cause no one um say something. But remember, you know, cause football not really play in Jamaica, like in you know, the school level, like a nine months period, I know, just a couple of months, and that's it. Mm-hmm. How they maintain the high standard, like in a sense, like the the players themselves, how they maintain the the, the whole um motivation and the whole um they call it farm in a way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, that, that that's the thing I want to know, cause for instance, after this, after thing, they play you know, this when they more play again. Exactly, a champs, a champs time. So, you know, when I go track and field, start chain now, so ball, football start playing. Mm-hmm. Or oh, they maintain... No, man, football the never stop playing, man. No, we know, we know, we know. We're talking about school level. Not How much of them play for club and something? I don't know for them, you know? Yeah. yeah. But I mean, let me tell you what, what I would think. If they have, like, major league and something that go on, like, what, um, super league and something there, and them, yeah. them, them going to them kind of system, them would understand that. But then they wouldn't have that going on now. Yeah, it's just probably this kind of weird now because Major League, as as as, as military would say, is not playing. So a mm-hmm. lot of a lot of them youth here. Not for them youth, they would have got play for Veer, mm-hmm. Humble Lion. Um, they would have played in the Major League. That mm-hmm. is all, all right. Even Clarendon College, enough of the youth them. You'd have youth to play for Portmore now. Portmore. You see me? 
So Clarendon and have youth to play for Portmore United, um, play for Humble Lion, play for um, Veer you, you understand? So depending mm-hmm. on where some of the youth then come from. So if it's just that it's a pity that uh, Major League is not playing, so some of the youth will, won't really necessarily be playing consistent um, football. Mm-hmm. So this season is just kind of weird to answer your question. But mm-hmm. I know that in previous years, no matter how some people see ball and, and think say, oh, they're not playing about military. Majority majority of the players are play always play major league. Ma- yeah. Majority of them. No, but remember no, in, a, in a recent time, we don't have that. But we I mean, all right, watch out. Clyde and College team with Crichton Charlton and those guys. Crichton Charlton did they play for something, you know? Veer, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Jamal Carr, one of them teams they don't listen, you know? Before him leave. Whilst he was playing for 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 um Clarendon College, he did have a mm-hmm. couple of the guys Edinal in them time that was playing for Woodall. You understand Woodall played major league, mm-hmm. so they played with with Woodall. And then you had other guys who played, and then you have a next guy who was playing for Highgate, and the transfer mm-hmm. come Woodall. So I'm going to say, Tanya no, Cameron, Cameron Cameron said them play like a corner league in their community. I you're gonna at, see at the end of the it. Hmm? I mean, they play corner league, no, but I'm saying that I know, I know that majority of the players when me that go to school, no of them used to play major league, right? They used no. to play major league between when the season done, they used to play mm-hmm. like major league and stuff. A major Let league is now what? money for the weekend. The what I usually play, play, I think they usually play Division 1. D1. When, when, they, D1. Yeah, when me left from high school football, at like Division 1, me, me play. I know so that run for a good look a while. Yeah, that me usually that, play. At the community where they you know, culture. Mm. But see me. Good, all right? So we, we, they used to play. They used to play D2. Then they played. Mm. Then we won D2. Then we got D1. We win D1. Then we got Major League. Major League used to have Jamal for Monimus. Morgan mm. Sparks. Mm. Part and the new club did come in. But Monimus and, and Jamal could ever be it. Mm. Mm. When they, I think after they went up, we win Major League and got Super League. And then Cho Juice did pull out of the league. And so we mm-hmm. end up drop out and come back a major league. But we are regular major league team. So if a team in like Capitan and MT schoolboy will come from like Edunalin, mm-hmm. most of them come from my community side, right? Mm-hmm. So we'd have find them that will come in and fit in the in the in the major league team. You understand? Because mm-hmm. the guy, one of the guys will run off a team, he needs to play for Clarendon College. You understand? So and and the man them love ball, okay, like, you know, so so a lot of the so me know say is the community where you come from, cause you remember my young ball of them, young youth them, they know the money if you go something there, travel gone a, a, a town or them thing. But like mm-hmm. Lamar them will come from town, they would have played for Portmore. No, I not I don't know talk about CC no, cause I say for example, the Edinalin team, for example. Edinalin the um Nadeep a turn down, yeah? So mm-hmm. them have they have less resources in terms of getting um getting to these clubs that you mentioned, uh, some of these. No, but that's um, what I'm saying. They don't them. They mute there. No, I'm talking about this crap. I'm about this If Major League play, they would have played for Odal. Oh, mm-hmm. but, but, but so for instance, uh, some of them come from even. They have people who go to and come from Pakistan and Manchester. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it depends on where you come from. So most of the time you play for the community team. You understand, man, you understand military you play for the mm-hmm. community team. So I come from Portmore, I play for Portmore. True. One team in Portmore. Because true, true, true. Easier, easier. Easier, easier access. Mm-hmm. Your parents can drop you how much. Or you have bridging. I'm telling you, see the big man them, especially like now, the man them, are you, a man them are rate youth and the man them, you see me? The youth, man them are mm-hmm. take care of youth. So when much you play, you have all the man who drive and thing. But involved in and around the team. So yeah, well, that just give them a, a lift. Yeah, man, my team got match every man pack up in a car, man. Oh, in a chunk, wait for in a chunk. Car pack. Mm-hmm. Man got match, and you make sure the man reach up. And at the same look at you, them playing at the corner league, so you really know them. And then some of them father, some of them have father, we are big man, we playing at the corner league, them mm-hmm. two. And, you understand? So you develop the rough road there. So the man, them kind of have a little camaraderie going. So that is uh, how you can do them still. Because I see. I could run through the Edin Allen versus Tets game. Because I did take some wolf and notes in the game. Because the game intrigued me still now. Because I think that was a really, really good final. Exciting final. But it was a really, 
really good final. So when the game started off, I said, all right, Edwin Allen control position. Me never really, throughout the season, me never really see Edwin Allen play like that in regards to them controlling position. So look, basically, look like they get extra time to put in some extra work and stuff. So I see them play, I play some very good football. They have a control position. Sets score against against the runner player. No, Edin Allen, no one said I first them are the one final like of this nature. They, they look shocked. They look a bit shocked. But in the same sense, the coach starts him say, You're going. You keep it simple, same way. You could do what I do before. They still maintain possession. Then no boom. Second half come, they score early goal. Confidence start build. And so re retain back position again. Test score back on them. I'm, no, them score second goal again. And then now, boy, right down to the 80 something minute where them equalize. <laughs> they equal um, No, man. Oh, sorry. Them score back in second goal. I think this second goal, brrr, yes, 62 minutes. Harris score. Then now, in at the 85th minute, sets equalize. Upon the 88 minute that I went, Jahim Harris scored the left foot, the left foot of the scored a wicked goal from way out. I, I finish off the game. No, I think that that game was, if if you want to go a final, that is a true representation of how you would want to see final go. Goals, every little thing happen, um, excitement. The game was a very very good game. One team play better football, one play counter. But in in regards to counter, them quick in the transition and them way way more lethal. It was a very very competitive, to organized team, two team who want to win. And you get good, good football. Um, CC, what do you think about that game? You did watch again, right? You get to watch again, yeah, man, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Why watch again? As a neutral man, enjoy the game there. Two team, two team playing good football, man. But as mm -hmm. I said, remember, I, I just came in and I discussed it where I was saying that Edwin Allen came in as a shell shock team because their coaching staff is new to a final, the players are new to a final. Um, while states have a coaching staff that would have prepared them better for a final mm -hmm. because. They have been there, been there, been there. Remember, they did a racket up. Been there, mm -hmm. learn, no off win, learn for win. Remember, mm -hmm. I'm come on the program and establish all of this already. So. Yes, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, you're in team talk. So, states would have mm -hmm. already had that. So, when states went up 1 nil, states, states was comfortable. When states even went down 2 1, states was still in the game because mm -hmm. states been there and knew what it took. When states went, um, I think what what inspired Edwin Allen is the fact that they, they realized that even though they went down one nil, they were able to come back and capture a lead. Mm -hmm. So I, I saw where there was two two and the clock was winding down and I'm looking and, and saying, why didn't they just try go to penalties? And then I said to you them because it was like 88 minutes or so, you know. Mm -hmm. military. So I said, I said to you them a press and I said, no man. So when they start when they started pressing. And the, the, the guy got the ball right in the midfield because he's like one thing on his mind when we see him turn and he make that strike, the man said no. So it's like <laughs> they still believed in themselves that they had one more chance in them. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it was a very good final because either way, based on how the game, the pendulum was swinging, mm -hmm. the game could have gone either way. But I True. thought that if Edwin Allen had lost, it would have been as a result of the lack of a final experience Maturity, yeah. in terms of coaching staff and in terms of playing the playing the, the, the squad and mm -hmm. the fact that they have never been this far in a schoolboy competition ever this is the first trophy in their history mm -hmm. the, the, the guy jaim rose scored the, the the winning goal and he he basically is written in history because he won his school the first title for a schoolboy <laughs> football team. I remember this is a school that can boast the likes of Gregory Messam. Mm -hmm. So he, he, he make himself, he make himself, so, right. I think I, So this might sound, this might, this might sound a way military when we say mm -hmm. it, but Jaime Rose now in the history of Edwin Allen, is bigger in than super, a Gregory In super, in super, in super awesome, man. In super awesome. bigger than a Gregory Messam. Worst case scenario, if you go reach level, when you get all the national call Exactly. Up. So, so right now, as an Edwin Allen, right but now, in the sense of right now, as an the mere fact that he never did that before, player, mm -hmm. as an Edwin Allen pass player, he passed him. Him. the biggest baller. Yeah, man, he right passed now, him. he passed him, man. Right now, anybody, anybody, can't else, a trophy, like, man. anybody else come after win that cast a cup? Mm -hmm. That's true. I agree with that. You understand? So, yeah, and this was his final season. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Him talk. Him ball. You say man I cry, man. Him la- eh? man cry, no man. <laughs> yeah, man. He basically, him last strike. So that is what it is. With, the reason why I tell people say you have to lose these things when you're judging people and say X or Z. Mm-hmm. It might sound a way because we know Gregory is a big ball. Mm-hmm. But in the context of Edwin and High School, he passed. He surpassed him. He, this man, this local youth, just become the biggest thing Edwin and ever. Ever, yeah, the man. The biggest thing come out of Edwin and his Jaim Rose. Mm-hmm. Remember me tell you that. I'm right, say, so, and I say that military with no apology. Mm-hmm. All right, so let me run through, I'll run through some of my comments. Then. The comment section, I go, man. Nicholas Brown said, military. You know, say a KC and Garvey before Olive, Olivia Shield. Can't tell me I saw JC bridging the man. You know, I hear that. Fabian Full said, Fabian and military never rate my Garvey. <laughs> we give them their ratings, man. A two time government company program can apologize. I think a two time, I don't know who they now play, I'm going say they're not going to win. And then dust them aside. <laughs> uh, chance you must. Chance you must end expl- explore. Exemplum. Why me I say so bad? <laughs> you know why me I say so bad? Shevan Gibbons said... That was an exemplum. An exemplum. Mm-hmm. Shevan said, so the Olivia Shield now go on this season. Of course it's a go on. Um, give, give Garvey the Olivia Shield no. Jesus, please. Shevan Gibbons said, I think Clarendon College was tired against Garvey. I think so as well. Um, J- top 10 said, Jai Patty Head Harris. Yeah, man, top 10, biggest thing come out of, <laughs> biggest thing come out of Edwin Allen. And no Rasta said, CC right could now. have been tired, penalty could have been given, but Garvey deserved this title. They were right the best now. team on right the now, day. military, mm-hmm. they need to frame your jersey and put it in an office, office. inside the trophy. Yeah, yeah. man, number she 10 in a box. Give me recognition. Jersey they're supposed to frame and give the youth. Sign, they would sign it and in, in jersey frame and him can mm-hmm. care to a picture yeah, with it. Nobody wait until the Newton big ball and play professional football. No, brother. And I run yeah, back. Yeah, I. No, brother. Put, mm-hmm. uh, put it up in a school. Uh, put the old thing in a principal office. Free it. No, man. Put it in the sports room, man, where, where all the other players are. What do you have to think them? Yeah, man. I the trophy is honest. To be honest, them can give him a next jersey. They know mm-hmm. like a replica jersey, but the, jer- the that jersey there. There, when playing, uh, they match, they will free him that jersey. No, maybe he might want it, you know. It's cool, probably take a replica. Maybe it's cool to keep the school replica. replica and him sign the replica. Mm, and the replica. Them, they're supposed to have a jersey mm-hmm. with a number there and the youth signature on it. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Sian has said the worst final ever by Sian Rough in a man. <laughs> Rasta says it depends on who asks. Um, introvert artist said made a five minute prediction on winner Peter Food. Man is not good, so obvious. Now we said they're no good. They're just, they're just a turn up. The high line really, really beat them. Shevan Given said, man inside young still. So next, that means that we're gonna see them again. I may assume so we're gonna see a better man in Steve. So we're gonna look we're gonna look out for them next time out. Shevan Given said, I'm um, Garvey beat CC because of their physicality and pace. Dan, um, Dan Angelo said, um, man is goalkeeper no good. The only player upon Manning's was the, the number 12. They have one ball, man. I think I, I, I want to call him man Moose Moose. I don't know which number I'm playing, man. But I tell you, I wish I'm playing. I think the wing one, I wing of them. But try your first thing. Try. Garvey beat CC because of 10 and 7. Because of the 10 and 7. Sian answered, Manning's in the final. It says a lot about the teams. They, they, the best, they, they did their best to get there. Jamaica needs a goalkeeping school or academy. I think it's a case in which we, don't, we just don't really concentrate on goalkeepers we really need to, to do something about it still that's some that's the area we need to work yeah, but there you are enough time the man um, even the jpl me see it enough you do them miss pan i don't know if you, you know that you are in the military alec mm. ear who alec ear <laughs> i'm know a classmate i'm a classmate many play that class many play that right. together alec ear oh alec ear them in a program bro i don't right. think i want to play ball anymore Probably. Them man, they wicked, you know? Them man, they wicked, wicked, bro. All right. Reflex right. So on top. Can't tell this. Foot can't tell this. And pass note from the back on top. National, me know, aside from Blake, none of them national keeper that me see in the squad. Not better than Alec here. Me I tell you this, military. 
You know, long me no see. You know, so me have got, me have got try. It's when Alec come. It's when Alec come at Clarendon College. I will call Alec in. I pet a check Alec name. Man, they man are seven feet in a bed. I, 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 then bro, then the man that play a six farm a Charlie Mount, I take we take him out a six farm. Mm. Repeat yeah, man. six farm. I repeat, the man repeat six farm a, a client because we can't tell us. <laughs> you wicked man, you wicked brother, man wicked. All right, man, so, man did not class, brother. Uh, all right, this will go and watch up Edwin and the man him say, oh, Alec here is in the year. The man have one, <laughs> one, two, man just stretch out so. Yeah, man, and some fingertips here. Oh yeah, say man. Yeah, you wicked, never man, see man. you with wicked like the man since Blake. I best yeah, man, you it. My team since Blake. I want my best shot stopper, you know. One of the best shot stopper, I see, man. Man, reflex. I see that I, I see link him. Cause I think him name Leko on top on Insta. I try link him, but I years now. I years now. I want link him, bro. I me, 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 me link him, man. I got the one there. Want to play ball? The man a listen. But I want the man come on the program, brother. The man, <laughs> yo, some ball. I mean, no. Yeah, boy, you. Say name Leko. Uh? I think a Leko intro. Leko on show, you know. I want to show you. You know, I see it. You know, something else. Yeah, Leko underscore Uncho. Press for L E C O. L E C K O. Oh. See, my man, Kasafa, Alec here. Yeah, Who yeah. Me, me, me just see. Me just, me just find him. But me I tell you, man, a, a wicked piece of, a wicked piece of goalkeeper. One of the best in, 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 in our school, school, in our school as well. How far from the from from school? school? Mary, set Mary. Set, come from, from, no man, Linstead didn't come from, man. Linstead, man. Linstead didn't come, the Linstead man, man. I think a bag walk didn't come from. I like um, you, bro. I say, yo, the man a wicked baller, man. Me I tell you, me I tell you, brother. <laughs> Chevron wicked. Given said, Edwin Allen and Garvey would probably make the best final. Umble, um, Umblex Naya said, Mannings, big up, still a supporter team. Dan Angelo said, good discipline in the schools, them. Ras, um, Rasaf, Rasfari said, Clarendon just has sent a message to the rest of the schools that in yeah, order to win any trophy, you have to go through Clarendon. I wonder if you still have to play ball military. I don't know. I don't know. If you still have to play ball, then you could make all them be all in easy, you know, brother. <laughs> Depends on how fit him be. If he's in front of yeah, they more than like him outfit. Military, if them man you play ball, brother, I mean, just want them to train for all one couple of weeks. Mm, I tell you, you when the man go to Premier League, I can tell you say, that you have to come to Premier League for a season, a national program in there. I just don't know, know what break down in the pro- I don't know what go on. I don't know, because I you take And you have a natural right talent, team. you know. So I feel the same still. You see me, I feel like, I feel like he probably just chose something else. But the youth did have raw talent. What I tell you, play basketball. He play basketball with me too. Come on, play basketball with school team. So I know, say, oh, come and play basketball with me and shot you. So, you know. I think he can do all high jump. I think he can do, do high jump in a school. Yeah, you're naturally yeah, talented. He's talented, talented, man. But it's a goalkeeping that... wise. <laughs> goalkeeping wise, military. I said, I just remember you. They know them quick half and in quick, man. Quick, in can really be a All right, I'm going to show you. As a tall keeper. I love that, yeah. Normally, as a tall keeper, them tell us, you beat them. When you, you got to ground, low up, uh, 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 hard. You see me? Mm. Run through some more comments. Uh, you, you, you got low and uh, hard. You see me? Yeah, man. Beat them but you hard. have to be, you 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 have to but them man, you can't have the LED, them man, they're so better, you can't beat them man. Let me tell you, who else, who else me play ball with, man? Me play ball with soul and McCullough who play for Mount Pleasant. I think he might did four more United, one time I did. No, no, he's a boy named Tamato. I'm not sure. Something that come, da, 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 my name, man. Tamato, they didn't call him, he's done so much, you know, you know. Which one come, which one come from? Clarendon. No, probably me not going to know him. Ah, I want to know so much all the month long. Me no, me no say enough. I want to make you tell her now. Now, how me? Now, Jamaica, how me? Jamaica, how me can build one Premier League team? Or can beat up 
everything in the Premier League. I mean, I, I ask me. Ask Samuel, Samuel me Thomas. Me. I mean, it's own family. Very, very family. I'm not sure, but I it's own family. Yeah, man. Tamo. But I tell him, so, a whole for bad ball in there, man. Um, bro, CC plays some tot. I don't remember if I know another player. Eh? I don't remember if I know another Charlie Mon player when he come to climb down, but I know I remember Alex. Because I yeah, Alex did my class. So I know I remember mm. Alex. Daniel Cameron said them play in little corner league. Um, yeah, I read that already. The watcher said Garvey must see worked exempl- uh, um, exceptionally hard and they deserve to be crowned as champion. You have to give them that. Rasta Sain said it come down to culture. Also, like Garvey said, whatever man has done, man can do. The youth way go see, see, Veer, Glenmore, Garvey. They know said tradition done set. So them have to maintain the culture. I agree with that. Daniel said, every weekend we have seven or eight aside commission in the community. That's good to keep the players them fit. Um, Nola N- um, Nala Henry said, Cubans for life. Big up Nala, supporting a team. Um, Daniel said, all the young youth play in those leagues, so that's how the, mat- um, the, mature- how the maturity starts. And we have Damien coming on to the program. Big up Damien. Where are you going? Where are you? Uh, there. It's a good one, you know. How oh, the results look for you today? What do you think about two games them today? Them the two deserved the champions? Yeah, two deserved champions. Especially the first game and third, the one they did wicked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when we did the first game. But the second game, my team lose. I'm not going to say, I'm not bash my team no no way or nothing like that. You know, I'm mm-hmm. proud of the team the same way because it's a young unit. They really just start with a program, you know? Mm-hmm. And she said, enough people might look funny and say, oh, five nil, whatever. But she said, school so old. But, and mm-hmm. I first final ever. And uh, them young boys, yeah, carry school to that point. Mm-hmm. You really show a lot about them, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's a program, so you can look funny. Me, look back funny past. I remember 2019 final. Mm-hmm. I did go. I kept you now. I remember when Ben Francis, you know, Ben Francis played first, like, when he go into the red. Current Opa then. Yeah, I watch Garvey must see versus BB Coca for them the time they mm-hmm. so it's a special team. I think Clear Clock then used to play the same way. The time the Clear Clock I did supposed to 14. Mm-hmm. And cousins they played to me until the final day. And should I win the final day? May I tell them miss chances after chances. I penalty them then kick away and BB Cook take it from them. So mm-hmm. you really show sure one program can do when you invest in something and you do it long term, you know? Because mm-hmm. I, I think the uh, same way, them the boy they probably do look funny at that time and say, they would have want to. They're mm-hmm. young, you know, and they care about their school from the 2007 and start doing something else. Nice. And I see they now they reap their rewards probably two years after. Mm-hmm. You two years after, one season after, because I won before they postpone. Mm-hmm. So, I look for them, pro them, and it's. Now the bash man is one thing I have to say though, clear clock and cousins. Fantastic man. talent, man. Yeah, man. Really Bad good player. Them. And me, me now me na go be biased and say, oh, cause man is lose me not supposed to big them up. Me deal with unity. I'm mm-hmm. gonna see Jamaica football go far. So mm-hmm. you see clear clock and cousins, fantastic player them and me wish it best for them. More the prayer, no bad prayer for them. No, because they must up my team. More <laughs> can you say. No, we man. see them in a couple of years and that Jamaica they will play for anything there. Like. When you look on clear cock in clear cock, you know, him yeah. look a cut above the rest, you know. Yeah, man. The evidence say him just as when I look on Jaim Harris in the in the Edinaling, you can see set them players here. It's just a cut above. When they look at look at every team, there's always a specific player who is just a cut above the rest. So me I look on, me, me I look on so Christopher P, um, Pearson, mm-hmm. uh, for KC, you have um, Duncan for JC, Ziminis, Ziminis, yeah, you have a kind of player there. Gary Milsey, um, Dintil. Uh, Dintil, I tell you man, even the, the, the centre back them for Dintil, where you know, said yeah. the man they play professional. But you, from you see how them team are played, these guys, what we, name we just mentioned, they are cut above the rest. When you look on the Dintil keeper, when you look yeah. on that, I didn't think that I keep on it. Oh, he might move. He might move like, say, he might play football from 30 years. You know, yeah, he might move like one 30 year old keeper when I'm prime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Serious positioning. Serious positioning. He might come on in defenders. Then he might talk to them. He'd have, he'd have one if I might captain to all my deal. So, 
I think, you know, you see when we can catch them talent, yeah? And yeah. push them in our in some of the, the, the Premier League teams them and some programs that Premier League teams them and give them even four games for the season, five games for the season, four appearances, five appearances until them really understand that that, that level of where I try to get from them. I mean, can tell us uh, the program, the football program can really grow exponentially. Yeah, man, you can go to and you just show say program. Well, in my eyes, I think the program has improved to a level because we are getting such nice football at the Costa Cup level. And we are getting from no 19 or 18 year old, no man, we probably at the last season we are getting from mm-hmm. some youngster, some 16 year old. Mm-hmm. Then when they're supposed to play under 16, and then would they watch in the middle of the year and I say, all right, we can't wait for them to go deep up. But this goes show maturity and okay. the levels where the boy them take them football too. Yeah, man, different, different uh, levels. I'm a pro to see level. football I go like that. Uh, even with money, missing enough team before the team you know, have more maturity mm-hmm. and could have go far. But my glad to see this a young side yeah, make history and make it so far. I have to big them up. I go always right. love my team and I love and that. Only can get better. Show yeah, that it only can get better. Only can get better. Yeah, that's once that's the program continues, it only can mm-hmm. get better from here. You know? It only can get better. Same thing I say. All right, so people, close off, close off, I know, but take some more comments before we do anything. Um, Omel said, sending love to Garvey. It was a good match, but no matter what, I'm still sending my blue bloods. Um, MDA said, Edin versus Sets play more like a competitive League Cup final than a Ben Francis. This final was the better of um, the one today. Mm-hmm. I'm going to understand that. Fabian said, for the neutral, it was a good game. Um, I, went, I, I went to Edin. I want Edwin to win because of Clarendon, Mr. Garvey for life. Platinum X said, Ah, oh, Clarendon. Michael Smart said, Fervent till death. <laughs> I'm going to stand up strong. Eddie, um, Eddie Edley said, A good football day for Clarendon schools. Big up Compre, big up Cubans, and big up to CC. Zanchi said, Man is of a young squad, and them, them reached so far in the Dakasa Cup. Says a lot about them. I was cheering for um, Garvey, by the way. Dan Angelo said, um, best thing for Edwin Allen since Frankfield High School ideas. Um, they've used to be beaten sick for Clarendon College. True. <laughs> Zan said, Clarendon carried home all rural era titles. Zan said, Edwin Allen, Ben Francis, Garvey Maceo, the Casa Cup, CC, Champions Cup. Kevin said, Kevin Dublin said, when the Reggae Boys squad had dropped, we don't know yet. I think by, by about Sunday, Sun, I think about, by about Sunday. That would job. Ed Nati, big up. In schoolboy football, pedigree is a real thing. Congratulations to Mannings. Um, good try. A good try, Mannings, I should say. Fabian Fulton said, this is Garvey's third D Cup, but second trophy with last one to set. Big up, fresh God. Garvey had two clear car and great good cousins. Tuffy, um, Tuffy Rudy said, who won Ben Francis Cup? That was on skirt. Missing miss to our go on, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Edwin Allen won it. Um, Tuffy Rudy. Edwin Allen said, I hope Paul Hall has these players on a radar and can help develop them as Simoes did with Pepe and Bibi. So, so really and truly, Paul Hall can't really do nothing much to these players. What he can do is encourage the clubs to have a look in on, to, on these players and keep them close. That's the best that he can do. Because he's running a national program. He can't go for a micromanage down to the youth. He no really can't do that. But he can put things in place in regards to um, asking clubs or asking JFF saying that every club mandatory if you have at least five under 18 players in a squad or, or six under 18 players in a squad or something like that to make it mandatory so that the youth them grow something like that can, can, you can't see the football star grow uh, Fresh guy said Edwin Allen and Ben Francis Del Esri Jr. said Garvey is class team rematch with them and JC and Olivia Shield so basically I said JC I go with Manning Cup this is also Eden Allen. Up and, run, up and running said, so you guys are saying that Jamaica under 20 team, under 20 team will under 20 team will qualify for the under 20 World Cup with all the talented talent players. Um we, we have military. We can, we can. We can remember one. I think oh, is it was it what's our under 17 team or we got the go on final? What's the under 17 or under 21 team? They go on World Cup final. A World Cup yeah, final. Yeah, man, they do one of them, you know. 
I think they hear the theory that from um, but a friend oh, when he's a oh, play oh, for which, them. Where's the other military? We never have one under 21 or under 17 team will go on World Cup final. World Cup final, final? Or semi final. I don't even think a final. Somewhere this one near the They then they tend the pug but they play for France too. You know, the under 20 world. No, we got the World Cup. Yeah. 2017. Yeah. We lost in the, we drop out in the group stage. Oh, yeah. LA, them man, LA, Lewis, them man. Uh, may, I t- may I take it? Uh, and and Alvas Powell, them. Mm-hmm. Alvas Powell, LA, Lewis. One of them on the 30 level we got under 17 World Cup. Yeah, remember the one there. May I try to find. 2011 no. best result, a fourth to come in night. I mean, no, it's completely right after, but I'm not working on one. Um, Jamaica national under 17 football team is the national under 17 football team and it's controlled by JFF. The highest level of commission which they may compete is the FIFA under 17 World Cup, which is held every two years. Head coach Upton, um, Gilchrist was the head coach, best result, fourth place. Yeah, and a World Cup that bro. Mm-hmm. What, what was what was it? No, I remember so we in a group with France and think the more they would draw France game. Yeah, yeah we'll I remember so we in a group with France, Syria. Yeah. Pog body up the game, brother. So uh-huh. on a World Cup that month. Maybe that's some championship too. It's on a World Cup month. Yeah. May I tell you? Hold on, may, may, may I research it? May I research it? Uh may I tell you, man. 2017. All right, so me uh, Jamaica under 17 result. Uh, which one is it now? Let me see. May, may, may I try to so can find it? Oof. Me, me not find it. Me not find it. I'm going to go in the money. I'm going to go in the wrong name. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 22 is not M, man. Uh, yeah. Two will go, Mario. Mm. I'm going to try to find the name, man. I'm going to try to find it. I'm going to try to find it. Yeah. You sure are the under 17s them? I believe so, man. I look on it right now. No? All right, so let me see. Let me... Performance at the under 17 World Cup. Let me look on it now. Look stage, look stage, man. Look stage, bro. 2011, right? First round. Yeah, that messy. First round. Yeah, man. Uh, 99, too. Mm-hmm. I show man inside the panda something, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah man, uh, I tell you man. Mm-hmm. I know that let me tell you. You mm-hmm. know it's the team where I talk, you remember John Ross Diley them? A group stage for real, man. You remember John Ross Diley? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. John Ross, yeah, man. John Ross them did go on competition and them did. Okay, me know shot, me know shot, man. At the CONCACAF under 17 championship. We come yeah. forward to that. Yeah. And that same year as well. The same year when we qualify for the World Cup. So probably that, probably that. But I know mean, we did have one outstanding team. But I'm not the people are saying, um, Stefan Mitchell has said it was under 17 World Cup final against Argentina. No, I'm telling you, Stefan Mitchell, remember that the World Cup itself is called the World Cup final, you know. The mm-hmm. tournament proper is called the World Cup final. Mm-hmm. Because remember, that's what it is called. We never go to the World Cup final itself. Mm-hmm. We yeah, we Cup. never go to the final itself. That is true. We never go to the final We never itself. go to the second round, the first round. We, all three teams. Remember, we got the under 17 twice, under 20 mm-hmm. once, and the big people, them senior. I think a, I think a LA scored all the goal in a, the France game. Mm-hmm. Open around. I think LA they kick in the one them on. Because we did draw with France, one hour. Then the France have Paul Pogba and Florian Tauvin. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah and Tauvin, them are wicked baller. Them yeah, them man. Them wicked. <laughs> wicked man, man. Florian. <laughs> All right. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Correct. Um, Stefan said, 20, um, said, Claude TV said, we did have a good keeper. Dookie um, Duke or something like that. Ian Asburn said, um, we get a 3-1. Fort Jesse said, big up. Big up, Fort Jesse. Uh, Fire Device said, that, with that play two, 
it will develop the youngsters because all of them now go play Premier League football. Um, Tuffy Rudy said the days of teacher hide fire device that Jamaica need a second Premier League for the youngsters. Maybe we're under 18 or under, under 21. All of, the, all of the Premier League team them have one, one team in it. Now, that's, I think that's a good way. If you can put them in your, your, your first team, have a league with them, with them play now. Some people got a whole and a half now. So if you well, like the military, go, yeah, you're me not echo. No, man, you're not echo, man. All right, may I ask you to ask you, man? When you still call about little boy, me used to realize that Jamaica is this thing where, like, if youngster them used to play, like, from them parish, like, you have a Westmoreland team, a Mobile team. Yeah, like, that, that's not still going. Come no. it, when you have that, that and think of a good thing that, you know. It's easy. When last huh? Parish League won? Parish League, Parish League. Is the Parish League not going for a while? I think it's the Elite mm -hmm. League at all. Yeah, that, 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 the Elite League. When I think it's going probably about two years or so now. Yeah. They look something they look like a good development for young so them. Mm -hmm. no elite, I Elite League at all. I don't think it's going for a while. Because I don't think it'll keep this year either. All right, so I eat that food then. We we'll cover everything basically. Damon, you have anything we answer before we cut? Uh, just big up money in the same way, you know. And mm -hmm. can get to go, I say. Can't mm -hmm. take that from him. And I go tell no lie, I love my school for winning, but no hypocrite thing, God, you deserve it. So, oh, mm -hmm. uh, is a man in his man list? Yeah. Yeah, man, a man in his man list. Man is in his man list. So, wait, see, see. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, as a crying then, man, you're glad to say you could come a crying then, though. No, I'm not going to say you no, know, because at the end of the day, like, you really, I really and truly will look at it like this. Yeah, Basically, there yeah, are a few schools when they live in a clan and where they choose from to go, right? Mm -hmm. When the youth them go to school, them it'll build up the school's reputation. So, one time you used to do it, people only want to go to clan and college and you know, the, uh, and blend me on. You understand? Because you know mm -hmm. them always have this thing about academia, right? but every school kind of build up now. Sports, um, academics, everything. So there's multiple schools where people know there's no more segregation. Because it is have this thing in the military. Mm -hmm. They go to and college. A man look down upon, if you say a guy, you go, a man never, you understand? Yeah. So, so I you go to it, it's not in a run the same way, like a clan and college. But now you oh, see okay. people hear them in a sports. So everybody kind of come up in a, it's more competitive. So if a man go to Clarendon College, I'm go Veer, I'm go Garvey, I'm go Glenmuir, and feel like he still have equal chance to mm -hmm. compete for something. If he if might play a sport or if he might mm -hmm. make it in the academics. So it's a good thing in terms of Clarendonians' development, in terms of choices and in terms of um, no more like... um segregation or um discrimination because i know mm -hmm. them things that go on with school they go idiot school that and them look for something there isn't it but yeah, no man yeah, can go my school a champion school same way like your school mm -hmm. so that and i think if if man is that win you could have say your man is that do it for the parish and what is going on with the parish right now and you know with everything mm -hmm. that's going on so either way it's just a good thing for the youth then, isn't it yeah. Right. yeah well said well said damien yeah. Yes, oh, yes, part already. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so people, the man and uh, 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 and what the man, you want to go clicking so. <laughs> but anyway, that that good. So, CC, the man, thank you very much for coming on to the program. Really, really appreciate both of you guys coming on. Everyone who's tuned in, massive, massive respect. We're closing on until the one and a half hour, far, far behind the time period I want to spend. Uh, about massive respect. People, congratulations again to Edwin Allen. Congratulations again to Garvey Masio. Well tried. Well tried, Mannings. Really, really well tried. But at a circle, hope you take this as a learning session. Make sure you take this as a learning session. Steps, you have been here, you have done it before. You couldn't get over line this time. Part of football. We, have, we, don't, we don't know. So, your coach, Anderson, that's already crocodile, Anderson. That's a go. But big up, people. Thank you very much for tuning in. And we see you.